hell does this mean? It means don't digit, but don't get blown up by it. No, this other bit. The type is not recognized as described. Any attempt to defuse, dismantle, or otherwise interfere with a weapon is therefore to be actively discouraged, save in the event of its being thought to be active when extreme caution should be exercised, particularly in the removal of the initial access plate. That's right. It's called passing the buck. Yeah, well, I can think of another term. You want to have a go at it? No, I don't. If it has got a self-destruct, why would it go off? Twelve hours after laying? Or twelve minutes. Or twelve days. Thirteen hours to Belfast. Unlucky for some. Yeah. You're in a right twist, aren't we? We've got it, and we don't want it. We don't touch it, and it may be dangerous if we don't. Equally dangerous if we do. Comes of being clever. Great intelligence, Coop. Well, short of asking the Malinowski, what a... Excuse me, sir. Flash signal from Mud. Flash? Well, they've got to be... They're sending us back to Errol. Oh, query it, sir. It's typical mod, right hand and left hand. Rush to Belfast and at the same time go back to Errol. I'm afraid not. Appreciate your very real concern to offload weapons soonest, but Errol now has priority. He's planetary signal following. Personal from Vice Chief Naval Staff. VCNS? Well, he's no fool. Right. Someone's putting him under pressure. But why Errol? Flight Commander's vision, obviously. Well, go on, Paul. Call for Errol. All right, sir. You know, you can get locked up for talking to yourself, sir. Better than living on Errol. Just a place for a package holiday. Let's see if someone else has had the same idea. Spread out. Report back to me if you discover anything.
Sanderson. Found something, sir. A cave. Some came. Oh, there is someone here. And doing very nicely. French cigarettes and a dictionary. What kind of dictionary? German English, English German. Mixing his nationalities. Oh. The books are in English. Well, that's helpful. Hmm. Mind now I know nationality. Or even better, her address. We open the boxes? Hmm? Uh, no. Uh, let's see if we can find their owner first. I've got a feeling he doesn't want to be found. We could spend days here, sir, without finding him. Maybe he's left the island since the Hilo spotted him. Got taken off by the Malinovsky, perhaps. Didn't leave all that stuff in the cave. Perhaps he hasn't paid for it. All right, round him up. We'll go and tell the captain. Sir. Now, there wasn't a boat there in the first place. None that I could see, sir. So we must assume that he's still there. How's your bomb? I wish I knew. And you better stay with it. I'll go ashore with you, Paul. I will increase the landing party. Bob, you can overfly while we search the island. That should give him an additional problem and may run him into us. I don't like the idea of going to flying stations with that thing on the after end. Too many people tramping about in the danger area. Agree. But the sooner we get this error business resolved, the sooner we can get on our way. And get rid of that bomb. Now, don't keep calling it a bomb. Right. Thank you, gentlemen. Sir. Hang on a moment, will you, Jane? Look, I'm prepared to ditch it and tell Maud I've done, sir. We've got our orders. It could fall over the side, accidentally. It'll make us look a couple of idiots. Let me worry about that. Anyway, we can't ditch it while we're at anchor. We can weigh, move out, dump it, come back. I'm not sure it wouldn't go on floating, become a danger to shipping. Then we detonate it from a distance, small arms fire. James, I am trying to help. I know, sir. Well? I don't want the responsibility for destroying it. You've got it. You're the expert. And the safety of the ship? I'm acting from the best advice available, which happens to be yours. Look, let's get this clear, James. I'll take the cam back if we decide to ditch it. No question of blaming you. Oh, I know that, sir. My problem is I don't know a mine from a dockyard bus or what the dangers are, what they might be, but you do. We should try and get it back in one piece. All right. But don't be afraid to change your mind.
Hello. You won't need that. We only want... Ami. Amigo. Friend. Comrade? Keep away. I'm warning you. Okay. We'll play it your way. That's better. Now we'll join the others. Get yourself moving. He's obviously not a casual visitor. No. Looks like he means to stay. Well, maybe he's a ornithologist of some kind. Yes, Anderson. Good afternoon. Do you speak English? He's a Scot, sir. A Scot? What are you doing? Poking around in my belongings. We weren't poking around, I assure you. No? You have my word. Well, what are you doing here? Do you think you could put up that rifle? You're trespassing. I apologize. You'll make no mistake. It's still handy. I can see that. May I introduce myself? I'm Captain Holt of the frigate HMS Hero. These gentlemen are Lieutenant Peak and leading seaman Anderson. I know who you are. But you made no attempt to contact us. He was in hiding, sir. You're damned right I was. I wanted to see what you were up to. Quite simple. My helicopter pilot reported seeing a man on error. I was ordered to come here, investigate, and question. I don't have to answer anything. Be easier if you did. Why are you here at all? I live here. But why? I like it. I'm not usually bothered by other people. How did you get here? By my own boat. We didn't see it. It broke its moorings in a storm and got swept away. name? Now what for? I'll have to make a report. I'm not so free in these things as you are. My name's Robertson. And where are you from? Fort William, among other places. How long have you been here? A year. And how long do you intend to stay? Just so long as I feel like it. What are you going to do when you want to get off? Light a beacon or build a boat. You're a boat builder? I'm a survivalist. Yes. 